kick. And congratulations to Joshua for coming out here, getting on that stage. Well, never enough. Matt Chapman, the batter. And ball one here from Jordan Lott. He'll seem to have all the momentum right now. Been an odd start. It's only one swing and miss so far. Well, and he's three and two on Chapman. I don't think that good two seam fastball. And it's been good on the inside part of the plate. And he's doubling and even tripling up. On three and two. Chapman stays alive. He does. Fastball yanked to third. And Nevin throws it. One week from Saturday. There's the second this year, and he follows it up with a fastball. Slowly to second, Urias could. Watch Tapia get down the line. He is smelling the infield hit, his second hit of the night. So Tapia keeps the inning alive for Jansen. And a nine. Continues to throw strike one. Oh, two. And Jansen will take another. So the hitter is seeing it on the outside part of the plate well off. And they're not offering at it right now. Still trying to find the feel. We'll go to the fastball here. And Jenny Jansen. That's another fastball. Nothing. X man. High pop up from Jansen. His hair doesn't grow very fast, does it? No. Every couple of weeks, though, he gets the sides cut. Strike one to Biggio. One and two. Tonight. Two and two. Like that. Let it flow. Let it flow. Fourth. There he goes. And he can go back to the dugout. Watch me for Lyles. Yes, <laughs> with the first inning Weaver, Santander, and Mountcastle went back to back. Austin Hayes will take a strike. From and Jordan Lyles has been good. He's navigated through traffic just about in that three game series against Cincinnati. And that was the worst pitching staff in baseball at the time at a small ballpark. So that was a little. Orioles hit one home the first. And now Hayes jams one into center feet, dealing with a sore oblique and into the book with a single. The four Blue Jays. Mateo after a first pitch slider. Jorge reached on a first at bat infield single and was caught stealing. Rolls this one to third. Chapman will get the out at second. Mateo gets him kind of off the end of the bat. Chapman goes to get the lead runner and does in plenty of time. Not going here on ball one to Mullins. To Cedric Mullins and Cedric yeah. was totally good with it. Total professional. And I'd love to see Cedric throw a strike. It seems like he goes to that slider a lot. 1% of the time. And threw a fastball. After giving up two home runs with two outs in the third. It's just so far on the night. Has average fewer innings per start than Kikuchi. Nevin. Tyler fouls it off. A couple of starts off the injury list have been a little better. Walked one on July the 28th against the Tigers. Only walked one in his last. Yeah, and but their starters have still been in the American League. That's a called third strike, a fastball. For the Blue Jays, and look at Cedric Mullins, who had quite a weekend. Now, if you remember last year, going to be the one who for sure freaks out when I get to hand this one to her. But a truck full for the O's and a ground ball here to the man in between him. Jorge Mateo throws. He's going with a fifth inning defensive replacement with Rubnet Odor into the game for Tyler Nevin. In nine at bats, Kikuchi won't be in the game anymore. And so it makes sense. 
adjustment. This is the most we've ever seen Brandon Hyde manage like he's in a plus to get the Blue Jays and 35 games as we said of the last 54 is to play with this year. You know he's had, he's had the pieces in the bullpen to match up and he's done a lot of right handers or left handers sitting on his bench ready to go. Strike into Guerrero too. Starts this year 19 of five innings or more about half a start six innings or more Two, one run so far tonight as Guerrero flattens one in the right Guerrero one for three. Birdland watched the O's face off against the Oakland A's past weekend. I've just been dying to talk about this with you. I was on the. That's a pie for Kirk 2 and 0. Oh. Apparently a lot of people do watch. I mean what oh. a better way to tire your kids out man. Send them out there on socks. <laughs> you calling me a kid kid. Mount Castle will back it up and Guerrero thought about it but holds a third. It was with Merrifield first it ran right in the face of Cedric Mullins and the Hernandez. Strike one for Jordan Lyles and he would love to create a ground ball right here. This breaking ball to third. That's the ground ball, and that is the. The Orioles are off the field with a five to one lead. The home run chain. And it warded it in 26. One home run in three games over the weekend against Pittsburgh with Kenna. On the ground, Bo Bichette from deep short. Recently. Three relievers yesterday in a 10 inning win over pitching coach Pete Walker's on the phone. Strike one to Rucci. Adley with a walk and a first hit. Well, from an offensive standpoint, I think his swing decisions, right? His ability to, but he's made that adjustment. And of course behind home plate he's just a difference maker you know he, he throws him you don't see many pitchers shaking off pitches like he seems to be in certain situations I don't see many of the pitchers shake him off at all so it's been what we hoped it would be it's been impressive. I know you all at Michael College but the swing a little bit didn't know if from Rutschman. Yeah. I think to your point he has found a way to get on time I, I, and I said you know he could go to the big leagues right now and catch I really thought that now I didn't know you know you knew he needed. I've been impressed here at the big league level because the stuff is a lot better you know the fastballs are a little bit hard the breaking stuff really been impressive. It's out of the zone three and one third inning home run his 20th to lead the team and, and that's been a difference for this guy too. didn't chase many balls out of the zone. High fastball there. Tied his career high with a home run number 20. Off of a fastball. And it, he hadn't missed it much this year. One of the. Three and two for Anthony. And a good 